morning. It is, um, it is October 18th. I don't think I vlogged yesterday. Um, but I don't remember. Um, yesterday was super fun. Um, I had a super long work day. I worked from nine, well, not super long. I worked until nine until 6.30. Um, and decided I'm not gonna work anymore that evening, so I didn't, which is really good for me because I have a tendency to work way too much. Um, um, I even had a webinar I was supposed to listen to, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to hope there's a recording for it and be done with work for the day. So we invited our friend Jake over um, and played Gloomhaven. So he joined us to play Gloomhaven I think it was Sunday, yeah, Sunday. Um, yeah, I loved it, and so he wanted to, he wanted to be invited every time we play, but he knows that like he might not be able to come every time we play, and we're still gonna play without him. Um, so you know, we're like, oh, he probably won't be able to come. Probably has work in the morning, and yada yada. And he was like, yep, I'm coming. <laughs> so we played a game of Blue Haven from like seven to eleven. It's very fun. And then, um, that was pretty much it. So that was the day yesterday. Um, today is a Thursday. Like I said, I'm on my way to work. I have my subcontractor, my Coda. She is coming today to observe and get that process started. So that's super, super exciting and will um, be a great step in me freeing up myself a little bit, having more flexibility, more availability on vacation, things like that, without feeling like, oh, I can't do anything because that means I'm not going to make any money, or that um, my clients won't be getting therapy, blah, blah, blah. So, that's exciting. Um, and then, uh, I have just two piano students, I think, today. Um, no, three. Three, so... I'll be done at six and then I'm teaching a class seven to like nine so I'm working about nine to nine today with um, a little bit of break here and there but most actually during my break from six to seven I'll be setting up for the class pretty much so maybe eating something anyway it's gonna be a full busy day today um, Sam has rehearsals after work and today's his last day of work I should send him something to celebrate that um, and acknowledge that um, and yeah that's kind of gonna be it because I'll probably be pretty worn out at night um, but Friday I don't have anything I didn't take any work on Friday so that's good um, so yeah that's the plan for Good morning. It is October 19th. I guess I don't need this. It's, not sunny. it's cloudy as hell. It is Friday and we're on our way to the gym. Um, I've just been doing some work this morning. Sam um, made us paleo pancakes and eggs. That was delicious. Our eggs paleo? Oh, the trees are crazy. Eggs are paleo, yeah. Amen. We're on chasing wild chickens. Is that how that works? Um, I mean... I guess a caveman can find an egg just about anywhere. I don't know. The name Paleo is a little bit silly. But anyway, we slept in this morning and then, um, yeah, that's getting work done. Pretty productive. Um, we're going to go to the gym now. Um, we don't have like a planned workout, so I'm not sure if I'm going to record anything because I'm going to do like a lot of machines and stuff. Maybe you don't have a planned workout. Yeah, I haven't been to the gym in a while, so. Um. So yeah, I used to plan workouts, but I haven't done that in a while. Um. And then we're gonna stop by the post office, grab some stamps and things, so I can send out my invitations for my advanced oil class that's coming up. Anyone who's been to one of my intro oil classes is welcome to come to my advanced oil classes. We're 
rotating topic, so I want to make sure that people I don't know very well personally have invites, and postcards are a good way to do that. Um, and then, what else? Then we are going to get our nails done, because look at these. It's terribly grown out. Some are broken. Um, and then we have a pumpkin carving thing tonight. Yeah! So that's the plan for today. Sam had his last day of work yesterday. How was that, Sam? The usual table waiting chicanery. How are you I mean, feeling? It's fine. I've, I've got plenty of other work to do. Like, uh, right. His last day of doing work that he doesn't want to do. Again, I doubt that that will be the case for the rest of my life, but one can hope. Anyway, so that's the plan for today. I should have brought some candles. They had candles in them, they just went out. Yeah, we gotta light up. All. These are my the pumpkins. These turned out so good. Everybody, this is Sam's yeah, pumpkin. Is yeah, ridiculous. She did so good. On this is her. Erica and Perry's pumpkins. Yeah. This is Nate. I'm like, yeah. This is Nate and Allison. Yep, <laughs> this is oh. Hong. Spooky tree. I don't think you like This is Allison <laughs> and Nate. <laughs> I didn't realize you were filming. I thought you were just talking out loud. Sam's still in there finishing one. Uh, if you can climb to the top of this uh, this here tall tree in the county, I'll I'll give you my soul. And the devil's like, I'll take that bet. And quick as a flame, he scampers up the tree and reaches the top. Crows triumphantly, and then realizes he can't get down. No, sorry. And so, still in a wagering mood, uh, the devil calls out to Jack and says, "Jack, what will you give me if you help me down from this tree?" And and uh, Jack says, "I tell you what, if I help you out of the tree, you have to promise never to admit my soul to hell." Thinking he was being very clever. But without a moment's thought, the devil oh, takes the, the deal. Here. Jack helps him out of the tree, and poof, the devil oh. is gone. Well, Jack goes back to his lazy ways, and he doesn't think too much of it. But of course, in Indu space, he dies, and immediately his his soul is transported to the gates of heaven. <laughs> and uh, Saint Peter is there, and Jack uh, asks tentatively, uh, "I don't suppose I could be let in here?" And, St. Peter says, well, no, Jack. I mean, you were such a lazy and indolent fellow your entire life, we couldn't possibly let you in here. Uh, you're going to have to go to hell. <laughs> so uh, Jack goes to hell, and there at the gates of hell, there's an unnamed <laughs> demon. <laughs> and uh, the demon says, oh, I know, I know you well, Jack. You wagered your soul to the devil, and... Uh, and you're in the right place, but according to your second wager, uh, we can't let you in here either. And uh, Jack says, well, what am I supposed to do then? And the, the, the demon says, well, I mean, you're, you're cursed to wander the earth. So Jack wanders the earth restlessly as a spirit for a long, long time, and he realizes that wandering without rest is uh, really hard work. And... Uh, he wants to be done with it. So he goes back to the gates of hell, and he, he says to the demons, like, hey, uh, like, what, what can I give you to let me into hell? And the demon says, well, I'll tell you what. If you go out and steal someone else's soul and bring it back here, I'll trade their soul for yours and make their spirit wander the earth endlessly without rest. And Jack says... Well, I guess I could do that, but how am I to find the right soul? 
And the demon quickly grabs a coal from the fires of hell and throws it to Jack, which begins to burn his ghostly hands because it's hellfire after all. And quick as you can, Jack finds a turnip, <laughs> hollows it out, makes a little face in the front, and drops the coal of hellfire into it, and uses it as a lantern to aid in his search through the world for another soul to steal. And so, many people have reported seeing a, a ghostly-like light out in the bogs and moors, and they think that it's Jack looking for a soul to steal and drag down to hell. Oh, Jack. <laughs> with his and so they have taken to carving their own jack-o'-lanterns to trick Jack into thinking oh, yeah. that they okay, are fellow I souls looking yeah. for spirits to steal. So, it's the next day, but I wanted to close the vlog. Um, it's a little out of frame, love. I know, it's like, this phone is more zoomed. Yeah, Let's just do neck video. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm working, on, I'm working on a new thing. It's the hip new fad. Everybody will love it. You only shoot video from the neck up. Ah, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> so um, Maybe I'll just try. <laughs> so, um, we carved our pumpkins. I don't think I had ever carved a pumpkin before. If I did, I... If you had, you would have remembered. If I did, it might be when I was, like, really little and I didn't actually carve it myself, but maybe my family did or something. Yeah, like, I can't believe your family didn't do it every year that you were a kid. No, we also never put Christmas lights on our house. Oh. Um, we didn't really celebrate holidays. How very Puritan of you. I mean, we just didn't make them a big deal, I guess. Um, we did stay out really late and get as much candy as possible. Well, I gotta have priorities. Yeah. Um, so I made a ghosty and a kitty, and Sam made a really cool, um, like creepy face and a goofy face. That sums it up. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was fun. We were at Sam's friend's house, who I, I don't think I had met. She was super nice. Um, with lots of our friends. It was a good time. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like that neighborhood was sketch. Yeah, and there was like someone else throwing a party, and they lived in this little cul de sac, and there were just like cars parked everywhere, and it was really difficult. You were like really close to them when you're trying to get around, and there was like this couple that was like sitting on their car, so to speak, sitting, leaning on their car. Um, leaning on their car parked next to another car with not much room for a car to get past them. And they just like stared at us as if we were gonna... You, you got room. It's like, And there was we barely room yeah, without like, them standing there. We would have crushed them to death. Slowly. Yeah, without being careful. Yeah, so anyway, that was funny. Who wants people smeared all over the side of your car, right? Right. Um... So yeah, that was yesterday. It was a lovely day. Thanks for spending some of your day with us. And we'll see you on the next